It has been an interesting week for Chelsea, as our training ground has been sold and Chelsea have landed the first signing this summer. And our injury list is finally looking better. And a big congratulations to Cole Palmer for winning Premier League Young Player of the Season. But now let's get into the news. A big breaking claim was made about Chelsea's financial planning. It suggests they've found a way to avoid having to sell players before June to meet financial rules. A report by journalist David Ornstein surprised many, saying Chelsea won't have to sell players before June to comply with the PSR and FFP rules. This was unexpected, as there was talk that Chelsea had to sell players by then or be in trouble. You can go to SLBSN on X if you want more details on all this. But it looks like from these pictures, that the reason they will avoid this is because they've chosen to sell their Cobham training ground to another company they also own. This way, they can show a profit from the sale, much like what they did with some of the Stamford Bridge hotels not long ago. An expert on football finances, Kieran Maguire, mentioned that Premier League club owners could have stopped this kind of sale between related companies but chose not to. This loophole could help Chelsea navigate financial rules more easily. We really have become loophole FC. This summer will be interesting to say the least. It's a done deal, generational talents, Estevio Willian, is now a Chelsea player. Journalist Cesar Luis Malo reported that Chelsea have reached an agreement for Estevio and the deal will make him the most expensive transfer in Brazilian football history. Malo said this on X. Estevio Willian reached an agreement to play for Chelsea. The English club sent its last offer of €65 million Euros guaranteed and without objectives, which was accepted by Palmeiras. It will be the most expensive sale in the history of America to Europe. It will be added in mid 2025. Estevio has previously reached an personal agreement and is eager to join Chelsea. Estevio won't be able to join Chelsea until mid-2025 when he turns 18, and the deal is expected to be at least seven years. It's noted that Chelsea had previously submitted different bids for Estevio which have been denied by Palmeiras. But now, they have finally reached an agreement as Chelsea was not willing to let this player slip to another big club. We now have a real future world-class star in our hands. Endrick who? For the first time this season, Chelsea's injury list is actually pretty short. A lot of players returned in our last game versus Nottingham Forest, which were amazing to see, because it has really been a curse this season and hopefully, we can leave it behind us. But now we will get into what's wrong with the ones who is still out. Kani Chukwamika continues to face injury setbacks, and his recurrence of a knee problem has required a rehabilitation program for recovery, but is now back in partial team training. Enzo Fernandez did finally undergo a successful groin surgery which have been a big problem for him the whole season as he has been playing on painkillers during this season. The surgery is ruling him out for the remainder of the season. Ben Chilwell is undergoing rehabilitation for an unspecified injury but has returned to partial team training. Robert Sanchez, out for nearly two months, has resumed partial team training, aiming for a return to full fitness. Romeo Lavia remains in rehabilitation due to a thigh injury and has confirmed a return next season. Wesley Fofana, recovering from an anterior cruciate ligament rupture, is back on the training pitch but remains distant from first team action and will not return this season. While you're here, why not watch another video and please hit the subscribe button. Blue